I mean, this gets crazier and crazier. The things I have discovered are just unbelievable. This is considered the fascia, as, I, as you will see or, you, or I have shown you. Now, in addition to the fascia, the fascia connects every piece of meat and organ and so forth to something else. It's got to be anchored. That's the anchor. This is exactly the same anchor right here as is there. This is a meat. It's just like this is. This anchor to something, whatever it was. And there's the anchor right there, that little triangular piece. You see it? That little triangular piece held this in. And that right there, that scruffy little spot right there is where this stuff attaches here and hangs. You know, that's when you bite into something. You can feel these little knotty things if you eat chicken or any kind of meat, you're going to have fascia. Now, the fascia, I discovered, was basically a fluid-filled highway. Nobody knew this before. It was, it was totally unknown. And now it's considered a new organ, fascia. <laughs> I'm not kidding you. And, and, and now they don't realize this, this attachment. Because in all the fascia is where the fluid-filled highway is. Well, when you get out the end of this fascia, where do you go? you got to go somewhere else. In the end of this, there's two little tiny holes. And right at the very end, the fascia f f moves into the next part. Now, is there any possibility that some of this could be getting clogged up or some, something to do with these investments? Because these investment spots, I believe, are very close to where they have the acupuncture points. And I pointed that out into my, in my 2015 paper, that the fascia is an organ that runs the entire body. It's a giant system, fluid-filled highway, and apparently where they connect here and there, they have, that's where the acupuncture points were in ancient medicines. So I don't know whether they were stimulating them or what they were doing, and inflaming them to get them start moving the stuff. I, this is a whole new area of, of um, research. Nobody's, nobody knows about this. And I've contacted some very, very top-end fascia people. They say this is just nothing more than fascia. I say, no, this is a whole new organ. This piece from right there to right to the end of that triangle is a new organ, and it is tough as hell. Tough, tough, tough. Okay, my friends, here it is from 2015, my paper about fascia facilitated fossilization. And uh, it was nine years ago, fascia instrumental and perfectly preserved fossilization in wet, fine, continuously wet mud. That's what causes wet, I mean, uh, mud fossils. Now, the product can be exact copies of living creatures, the flesh, the colors and all. And yes, absolutely. And I will show you all that. Now, at this point, I wrote that this it was one giant flexible fabric system it comes together as one giant system which is the fascia it protects everything in your body and i go, go over it all and then it's heavily infused with silicon now at that time i found tons of silicon because of the mud fossilization and i'll explain that at some point but then here i put down fascia is a tubular fluid filled fabric network now this is 2015, and, and then I went on to, to understand a little bit more of it, and now I understand about the latches on the fascia, which still is not understood. At this point, this was nobody ever had no idea. Well, let me show you something. You see this? Now, I was working on this since about 2010, somewhere around there. But in 2018, there was a study published by um, Neil Tice and colleagues in the scientific reports that the interstitium was a new organ. That's, a, that's basically the fascia, but it has a little film over the top that has all the fluids. It's a new organ in the human body. You know what we knew it before. It's a network of fluid-filled cavities. That's what I said. In connective tissue, which is the fascia, that run throughout the body. The interstitium previously thought to be a dense wall of collagen, but the new discovery revealed that the tissue is more like an open, fluid-filled highway precisely what I wrote. Now, this was a, a brand new organ, and it's, it's, I could show you this, because that is your immune system too. So now this is 2018 they published this. All right, once again, I, nobody was looking into fascia. They didn't even know it did anything, and I'm not kidding you, they called it fuzz. In my paper I said fascia was thought to be mere 
packing material and virtually inert. It has long been ignored as a subject of research. Nobody looked into it. The only people I could find was a couple of people in Germany because they were sports people and another guy that was a, a really deep anatomist, an autopsy guy, and he said, well, it's, it's just fuzz, it's nothing, it's just, it's like bumper material, keep you things separated and so forth. And I said, well, I think that's more than that. And that went back to like 2010 or so and then he realized it was more and I mean uh, it, it blossomed from there and then of course it ended up being considered a new organ in 2018 but it, it takes a long time for these things to be accepted and I am not allowed to publish so I, nobody sees my stuff hard at all so but I send it to everybody except they just don't respond because if I'm right then, then there's issues with them. They're, they're, it takes away from their status. Basically, that's the problem. I don't want to invade anybody's territory, but I want, I'd like to have some reality and truth. Okay, I just want to make a couple of statements. I said they considered it fascia was just fuzz. And, but he, this is the guy that knows more about it than anybody in the entire world. Fifteen years ago, he was discussing it. And then after we had some discussions, I noticed he put this up 12 years ago, reconsidering the fuzz. And then, of course, it ended up being a new organ. But um, he's actually, this is a, this guy knows everybody. And he's doing a national tour, and he's almost done with it all this last year. He's been going around the whole United States giving lectures and big you know, auditoriums and packing them in because people don't, nobody understands this. This is all brand new. This is, a, this is new organs. The fascia was just considered just the fluffy stuff that lay inside your body. No, it's, 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 it's literally the most important thing in your entire body. Now, before we move on forward here, I want you to understand, Gil, I, you know, I, I communicate with him every now and then. He has no, he's never said, you're right about anything. He just, he's, he, I ask him questions, he answers my questions. That's it. And I also have a couple of people over in Germany, with the big fascia institute over there. Same deal. You know, if I ask a question, more, more likely than not, they will respond. Sometimes they won't because it's just a little... They don't want to get involved in that discussion. I've had people say to me, don't ask me these kind of things, you will ruin my life. I'm serious. Okay, we're going to go to the microscope in a second, and we're going to look at this little attachment here, which I now call the spur lock. <laughs> and this locks chunks of meat. This whole big chunk of meat here is locked in with that. Same with this. Now, what happens after that latch, this spur lock, starts to flare out. It turns into this this um, connective tissue fascia, which coats everything. It gets thinner and thinner, but it coats all those things. Now, as this drains down, because there's a ton of fluids in this fluid-filled highway, there's four times more fluid in your body than there is blood in your body. And the fluid is in the lymph. And basically, I believe this is the lymph system and it's draining all that stuff through this fluid filled highway right to there. Well what happens? Is dead end there and just stop there? No, it's gotta go somewhere. How does it get to where it's going? And what would happen if something damaged that or what could happen to this? Or because I believe these are where the acupuncture points are similar some I you know they might be nerve spots, I don't know. It's something to look at. And I also want to look at the chemistry of the needles and so forth because all of that plays a part. In, in the conductivity of, of everything. And enzymes work with all kinds of different um, molecules and um, atoms and, and different um, breakdown of, of things. And a lot is done in a transition metal area, which is with blood. Blood and en enzymes, they work hand in hand. All right, so you saw the latch on those the chunks of chicken breast. That's the same thing right there. This is on a rock I have here. I'm going to put it in a microscope in a second. And right at the tip where it latches in, it, it doesn't just dead end. The fluids have to flow into the next organ or into the next piece of meat. Here's one that's damaged. See, See it's ripped away here? That's supposed to hold tight. So you can stretch and do all these kind of things and pull and do that, but it never rips out of there. That's, they only looking at this stuff 
primarily for sports injuries. Well, I'm telling you, um, there's a lot of fascia related, uh, you know, tension in the body, and I have figured out how to release it pretty good. And it's, it's strictly moving these fluid filled tubes into positions very, 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 very slowly and stretching them just I have a technique I use now and I, before I could hardly lift my legs off the ground I'm not kidding you it got terrible and uh, after doing these little techniques whew, it, it's better let me put it that way I still got back pain but anyway let's get back to this okay I have or I will show you this complete piece and it was a piece of meat and this was the anchor that anchored this chunk of meat whether it was a shoulder or whatever muscle it was to some other spot. Now, you have to really be able to look closely at details. You see these fibers here? These, these are actually separations and that is typical of tendons or really tough fibrous strappy things because they, they hold tight. Now, look at this little thing right here in that little spot in the center. Just take your time and look at it. And see the change in the color right there, right after this little spot in the top? And then if we look back up at the top here, hold on. Because this is really where it, the, the thing ad, adheres into the muscle. And then from there runs this very short tendinous spot. And then that anchor anchors into wherever it went to. I have no idea where it went to. But it is a piece of muscle attaches to something else. And I have a whole set of muscle things over here I can show you that make it very clear that there is a ton of this going on. Now, again, every organ in your body has fascia on it. Every organ has, you know, the organs specifically have different chemistry, your lungs, your kidneys, your gallbladder, all that. So they have to have different enzymes and different things to protect them and then they have to get through that membrane I mean through that fluid filled highway and go to the next spot down here there's a couple of spots where I believe the fluid is flowing into the next membrane area and I think it might be right there and right there uh, we really got to take a quick look at it but there is definitely going to be an area where that fluid has to transfer over so let's take a close look. I got to be honest with you. It's very hard to tell where those the transfer is happening. But I think it might be right there and right there. This is the really gnarly spot that digs right down into the, the um, in this case, a piece of muscle. But it could be an organ. So I think that and that is the two fluid fills because it's got to go one's got to go on one's got to come back that's my feeling at this point now if we come down here this is really close up now these are the tendons from this really gnarly investment all right let me just show you uh well i can't because i got it in the microscope um well actually i can hold on all right so don't forget now nobody knows about this organ and I believe it's an organ. This is not just simply part of the rest of the fascia. And here it is down below. And don't forget, this is the latch we're looking at. And we're looking right up about in this area here, where it's all gnarly up in here, between the muscle and the flap. And that's exactly what we're looking at up there. Now, I'm going to drag the microscope forward a little bit to... Well, I'm going to move this backwards. Now, we're going to move towards the the flap so you got a little bit of tendon coming down from that lock in here I believe this is these two spots here it appears to me I'm not sure but when we come down forward now we're in really getting forward 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 and we get down into here where that little tip is and there it is right there now, originally I thought there was fluids coming out in this area down here. Hold on, let me turn these little lights off. Alright, let's get a little better lighting here. Now, originally I thought it might be these two spots here. 
they're right at the very tip. Now, it could be. It could very well be. Because they sure look like they're prime candidates for it. And here's the very, whoops, here's the very, very tip. And that locks this whole piece of meat into a whole other piece of meat. Or into, I don't know, wherever, a shoulder or whatever. And this is the tendon and stuff. You always have tendon between where something locks in and something is locked into the other spot. You need a little bit of tiny bit of give. And that's what the tendon does. But this here, it is locked in. That is nasty, nasty, nasty. Well, let me put it this way. It's gnarly, gnarly, gnarly. And let's come up way up. You see it? Total difference system. That's where, that's a lack, this is locked right in. You see how it has fibers going this way and fibers going this way? That's a tough, tough thing. Now let's get a little more light. Like I say, it, it could be these spots up here, or it could be right at the very tip. It could be right at the very tip. It could be those spots right there. I, I don't know. Again, un totally not understood. Nobody knows about it at all. But I can see the same thing is happening on this this meat here. You you've got things coming through here, and it's not just locked in there. You're going to have to have fluids coming out of this fascia into wherever it's going too. They it covers everything in your body. So somewhere along that line, there's tubes going through here. It, it deserves some research, I would think. Just like the fascia. I mean, uh, uh, interstitium, that wasn't researched for, for years. And finally they say, yeah. And now, and, and if they really looked into it, they would understand that's our immune system. Everything that happens in that fluid-filled highway is your protective barrier so you don't get invaded. Once you're invaded, that's the start of cancer. That's basically every organ in your body has a different chemistry. That's why you got 400 different types of cancers. All it is is invasion through the membrane. And once it's through there, and the membrane is these things right here. And a whole new way of looking at things now.